Great. Now what? guys, welcome to Supernatural Breath Part 3. Oh. Ah. So I never meant to make this many Supernatural Breath videos. I thought the first one would be it. And wow, it's already hit over 10,000 views. Holy crap, thanks guys. I got a ton of good feedback from Supernatural Breath Part 2. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, please watch it. Why I'm doing a Part 3 is because I'm learning some new ways to do the breath that I think would be simpler and easier for you guys to follow and maybe more effective. It's definitely been more effective for me. And I just keep telling myself until I have the opportunity to go to a Dr. Joe week-long advanced workshop, I am just gonna have to figure out this breath. I don't know if he's changed his method at all. I haven't talked to anybody yet about that, but I'm just learning as I go along and practicing a lot. Yes, I still practice in front of my TV. <laughs> okay, so there's this Dr. Joe testimonial going around by this wonderful woman named Nutsi. I'll put a link below. I haven't seen a Dr. Joe testimonial in months. I used to watch dozens of them a day, but uh, this one was going around and I just felt like I had to watch it. And oh my God, guys, I was bawling my eyes out. It was so powerful. Like, I don't even want to spoil it for you. Just watch it. After I watched that, I was even more determined to, to do the breath and I just had a renewed, this renewed feeling of inspiration to do the breath. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. Watch that video, it's amazing. Okay, so another video that's been going around in my circle is the Wim Hof breathing techniques. So I guess with this whole coronavirus thing, a lot of people have been trying to figure out ways to boost their immune system. And one of the great ways you can do it naturally and very effectively is with the Wim Hof method. There's this Joe Rogan interview that it's like four years old, but it popped up on my feed. And so I watched it, it was really, really good. I mean, I tried Wim Hof years ago and I liked it, it was great, but I never felt inspired to continue to do it. But then I had another group of friends uh, post the video in a group chat and then another group of friends. And then my family group chat, it started going around through my family. So I'm like, okay, something to this. So I was watching that Joe Rogan video, you know, I know what it's all about, but I realized I've been kind of doing it anyways and kind of incorporating his method into the supernatural breath with Dr. Joe. Just listening to Wim Hof describe all the science behind it just gave me more confidence with how I was doing the breath. So in my part two video, I share with you Lucia Tai's method and I added a little bit of my own twist to it. And the way I do it is still very similar, but um, just less uh, focus on each center. So I've been experimenting with the breath a lot the last few weeks. I don't breathe in through my nose anymore, A, because my sinus is usually irritated and I'm allergic to dust, and B, the way Wim Hof teaches it is just breathe through your mouth because you're just trying to get as much oxygen in as you can, and so better to go in through your mouth. And Wim Hof's method is you're taking a deep breath in, but you're not breathing it out fully, so you're getting a lot of more oxygen in. I only do about six breaths a day, and maybe only two or three out of those six breaths are actually like quality ones. How I know they're quality ones, I usually feel like I'm about to pass out, and when I know I've done a good breath, I know I, I cannot hold it too long, otherwise I feel like I will pass out. And when I release the breath, I know I've done it right because all this energy comes out of my arms and my hands start to vibrate. So another thing I do differently now is uh, when I'm intending the energy to go up, I also move the energy up as I'm holding. I'll move it twice as you've seen. If you've watched my guided meditation, you'll know that's what I do. And then now what I do is when I'm catching my breath, and uh, releasing, I also move the energy up with my mind to my crown. Just feel like it helps activate my pineal gland more. So I think combining Dr. Joe's method and Lucy's method and the Wim Hof breathing and my methods, I think has really turned this breath into something very powerful for me. It's all about quality, not quantity. So with the squeezing part, I'm squeezing my butt and I'm squeezing my lower abdomen as I'm breathing in. Okay, and I usually do four breaths. Four seems to be the magic number for me. You no, know, Dr. Joel only does one slow breath. It just doesn't work for me. I have to do like 20 of those just to get one good quality one. Some people might have to do six or 10, I don't know. You guys will have to experiment to see what works best for you. For me, four breaths is the magic number. When I hold on the fourth breath, I know stuff is happening. Okay, so I breathe, I squeeze my butt and my lower abdomen, but it's not like crazy squeezing. And I'm just intending, you know, I'm just intending energy to go up. Physically, I'm squeezing and pushing things up 
energetically, I'm intending things to go up, and then I'm breathing up, okay? So just all you have to do is imagine everything's going up, okay? Just have this upward intention. So kind of think of it as like a wave, in, out, in, out, and getting higher and higher each time. I'm gonna mention it again, Robert Bruce, his book, New Energy Ways, he teaches you how to move energy in your body. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to be aware of energy and to know how to move it within your body. Like I said, Dr. Joe teaches you to like stimulate the top of your head so that you know where your exit point is. If we were gonna use Robert Bruce's technique, you could maybe like get a back scratcher and just kind of like slowly scratch your back up so you can like feel the sensation of energy moving up. And you can just like stimulate your torso by just kind of scratching it slowly like this. First, like three times. So you can feel where the sensation is supposed to go. When I'm visualizing energy moving up, it's kind of like in the inside of me, not on like the outside of my spine or, or the front of my body here. It's like within me, in the center of my body, uh, from the base of my spine, energy is moving up. Okay, so if you're having trouble combining all the different things that you have to do, I highly recommend just doing one or two things. So for example, just do the breathing and holding without the squeezing, or do the squeezing and the breathing without intending energy up. Another good practice is just to sit and visualize energy going up and trying to feel it. So you can stimulate your torso first, three times, slowly, and then stimulate the top of your head and just try to visualize and feel the energy moving up. It's very important to feel the energy moving. That's why stimulating the path first and the exit point is uh, very helpful. Like I said before, I can activate my pineal gland by just doing that. If I do that enough and try to hit my pineal gland, your pineal gland is, all, is, is located kind of like at the back of your skull. Sometimes I like to just move the energy there. I'll start to see lights, and that's how I know the energy is moving there. So practice them all separately. Just the squeezing, squeezing your butt and your lower abdomen. Don't overthink it. Don't think you have to like squeeze each part separately. Just squeeze, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. I've done the breath without squeezing, just moving energy up with my mind, but I'm so used to the squeezing. I don't know how necessary the squeezing is. I've tried it without the squeezing. I still feel something, but like I said, it's good practice to try them kind of on their own first or just two at a time. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do a set of the breath with just breathing, no energy movement, no squeezing. Okay, we'll see what happens. <sighs> Very powerful. So that is just basically a very short version of the Wim Hof breath. Um, very effective, very effective for me. That's a great way to start if you're a beginner, just do the breath and then practice holding. And then the next step would be trying the squeezing with the breath. And then the final part is the hardest part is intending the energy up. Okay, so I have a pretty good tip. So one tip that I learned from Robert Bruce is something that he calls awareness hands. So uh, you imagine that you have this energy hand coming out and lifting the energy for you, moving the energy for you. So it's more important to move the energy up while you're holding, and that's how Dr. Joe does it. When you're holding the breath, you can imagine that this energy hand is coming out, your awareness hand, it's coming out and it's pulling the energy up for you. I find that very, very helpful. And then maybe just practice squeezing and moving the energy up without breathing, so. Simple, right? And then all you have to do is add breath to that. I feel so much stuff happening just from doing that. <laughs> we are going to try everything together. So I'm just gonna demonstrate three times how I do it. So I'm squeezing, I'm breathing in, and I'm moving energy up higher and higher with each breath. I'm just imagining that this ball of energy is moving up higher and higher with each breath. And then the fourth breath I hold, and then I move energy up, couple of times and then I release 
and then I continue to move energy up while I'm relaxing, then I begin the whole cycle again. Remember to always do this while sitting down and try to have back support. Always try to kind of be leaning back just a little bit so you don't fall forward and hit your face in case you pass out. Okay, so let's try this. Inhale, squeeze, move energy up, release. Inhale, squeeze, move energy up, release. Inhale, squeeze, move energy up, release. Inhale, squeeze, move energy up and hold. Move energy up. Still hold. Move energy up. And oh. release. Oh. 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 <laughs> that was intense. I feel like this deep vibration in my core. What I also notice is um, I almost hear like a, a high pitched frequency when, I, when I've when i done a good quality breath. And air, all this light just kind of goes like that. If it doesn't do that, I just know I'm gonna be able to hold my breath for a long time and it's just gonna be a useless breath. I used to think holding your breath longer was better. It's not actually, not for me anyways. I notice it's the breaths that I feel like, oh my God, I'm gonna like pass out. Those are the ones where I'm like, okay, this is a good quality breath. And then all the lights come, I kind of hear this high pitch frequency in my ears. Um, and that's how I know I've done a good breath. Now let's try a slow one. <sighs> Inhale, squeeze, move energy up, release. Inhale, squeeze, move energy up, release. Inhale, squeeze, move energy up, release. Inhale, squeeze, move energy up and hold. Move energy up. Still hold. Move energy up. And release. <sighs> energy is just like coming up and then out of my arms. The goal is to get it to the top of your head, but it always just seems to come out of my arms. Um, I'm seeing lots of lights flickering. And that just tells me that my pineal gland has been activated. So the energy is reaching uh, my pineal gland, which is good. Okay, I'm gonna give it my all with this one. Inhale, squeeze, move energy up, release. Inhale, squeeze, move energy up, release. Inhale, squeeze, move energy up, release. Inhale, squeeze, move energy up and hold. Move energy up. Still hold. Move energy. Oh. Never mind. I just can't. Uh, audio sounds. Oh, I blanked out for a second. I didn't know where I was. Okay, that was a good quality breath. <laughs> Woo! Okay, guys, I promised you three breaths. I'm not gonna do any more than that. <laughs> I don't want to pass out. Uh, ah. Okay, I hope that has helped you guys simplify it a little bit more. I've been getting so many requests on help. I'm sorry I can't get to you guys. Please just watch these videos, watch the last two videos, learn some tips, make this your own. I've been practicing it so much. I've made it my own. I'm finding little ways to make it work for me. I'm fine tuning it for me. My tips aren't always gonna work for you. You guys just have to try it and see what works best for you. So also please remember, I have been going through so many detoxing, purging like symptoms after doing the breath. So I've learned my lesson. I don't ever want to go through that again. I am drinking tons of water after each session so that the toxins don't all go to my head. I get this horrible headache and puke. I just cannot go through that again, but I've been drinking lots of water and it hasn't happened. So I think that's the key. And I've been laying off the wine. <laughs> it's all about water. Drink lots of water, guys. Okay, guys, thanks for letting me share that with you. Let me know if this has helped you at all. Leave some comments below and I will talk to you next time. Oh. <laughs>